At the Jason Van Dyke trial today, it may have sounded more like Laquan McDonald was on trial. The defense trying to portray McDonald as a belligerent, drug-using teenager who lashed out at authority. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas was in court as the defense kicked off its case. She joins us now from the Layton Criminal Court building with more on today's testimony. Roseanne. Well, Rob, today we heard from several sheriff's officers who described confrontations with an angry Laquan McDonald at the juvenile detention center. The question from prosecutors, did Jason Van Dyke know any of that? Well, when he came, when he first came in, he was really agitated. He was yelling, screaming, swearing. Three witnesses described violent encounters with Laquan McDonald at a juvenile detention facility in the months leading up to that shooting in 2014. So we took him to the floor in the prone position uh, due to his combative, combative uh, behavior and him basically violently resisting against His choice words, he's like, I'm going to beat your I'm going to tear the TV up, and he came at me. And one after the other, they were asked the same question by prosecutors. The defendant wasn't present for that, was he? Jason Van Dyke, no. was he there when that happened? No, he wasn't. Also today, a former Cook County medical examiner was critical of the autopsy on McDonald, saying shoddy documentation led to false conclusions. It is my opinion that this is the wound that caused Laquan to die so rapidly. She was referring to a chest wound she says punctured McDonald's pulmonary artery, causing massive blood loss and killing him within one to five minutes. As your conclusion today, the fact that he was uh, shot in uh, wound number four, the rest of them didn't matter. Is that your opinion? That, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that's the wound that killed him. Did it matter? Yes, it matters to document that there were multiple gunshot wounds. Yes. Yeah, it really mattered to Laquan McDonald that he could have lived a little bit longer that night, right? Her testimony about the trajectory of what she called the fatal bullet supported Van Dyke's claim that McDonald was facing him when he fired. This would be consistent with Laquan being turned towards the officer. Now, T's called notes taken by the medical examiner who conducted the autopsy on Laquan McDonald more confusing than helpful. She also said that there was likely a lot more PCP in McDonald's system than toxicology tests showed. And that is because the drugs in his system had been diluted by fluids delivered by the ambulance. At the Layton Criminal Courts building tonight, live, Roseanne Teas, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Rob. Okay, Roseanne, thank you.